My name is David Devinney, and today I'll be reading a verse from Matthew 2, um, verses 13 through 15. It's the escape to Egypt. When they had gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, he said. Take the child and his mother and escape to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you, for Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. So he got up, <clears throat> took the child and his mother during the night, and left for Egypt, where he stayed until the death of Herod. And so was fulfilled what the Lord had said through the prophet, Out of Egypt I called my son. Uh, when I often think about this uh, particular verse, you know, the first thing that comes to mind is is the, the protection of God. Um, you can see this here while his son is being persecuted and uh, hunted down. And in the worst case scenario, the protection of God is there to protect his son um, as all of his children. And I think the other side of that that's interesting too is the fact that you can just see the power of God's sovereignty through the fact that they're going to Egypt, a place once where Israel um, was persecuted. Uh, <clears throat> so when you take a step back and think, how does this apply to our life? It's uh, First, it's, it's, you got to trust in the protection of God um, and that he is sovereign and that there is no challenge that he can't overcome. And it, I think it's also calling us to, to trust in his plan, the plan that he has for us, which might not always be our plan, uh, but is right in the long run. And, I, and we've seen this in our own family uh, through the journey of infertility. Uh, several years ago, we started fostering because we weren't ready to have kids of our own. Uh, when you take on the burden of fostering and only to find out uh, that we were going to struggle with, uh, with fertility. And it's a challenge that uh, challenged our marriage, our faith. Um, I, I can tell you there's nothing worse as a husband uh, when you're not able to see your wife have the baby that she had always dreamed of since a child. Um, but it was a time where we had to turn to the Lord. We had to turn to each other. We became closer together. Um, and, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's funny to look back on it now, only probably four or five years later, because God blessed us with five kids. Uh, so he has a sense of humor as well. Um, so it's just, it's, just, it's just that struggle to know that no matter what you are in, God is sovereign, God is in control, and there's nothing that he cannot uh, take on. Uh, so I'll, I'll wrap us up here in, in prayer. Uh, dear Lord, just thank you um, for this day. Thank you for uh, this season. Thank you for not only sending your son uh, to, to save us, but to, to protect him and guide him along the way. You were always with him. That was always the plan. Help us just remember that in this season, the sacrifices that you made and he made um, uh, for, our, for our own protection. And help us remember that Throughout this season, uh, no matter what we're going through, no matter what struggle, how low, how deep, how alone, uh, you're here. You're always walking along with us, and your plan is always right. And just help us turn to you. Remember to focus our, our eyes and our hearts and our worry on you and let you provide. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.